Hey there, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so these paper towels are trash from our a paint class that I had the other night. And uh, I teach classes a couple of times a week at our Western Texas College on the Square. Anyway, I said, oh, don't throw those away. Don't make me dumpster dive. Anyway, so I want to show you there, that we're going to have we're going to have two videos. I'm going to show you how to make this. Now, this is with stuff that I have on hand. I didn't go out and buy anything. And uh, so it's got this cute little cover. And the first video will be on how to construct this. The second video is on putting this binding uh, to, put the, to put it together. And this says, what seems ordinary is often the extraordinary. Stuff that we see as trash, or refuse, or, yeah, it's not any good. Man, there's always something beautiful in that. So anyway, y'all stay around. Be sure you like and subscribe so you can catch both of the videos. Okay, so several videos ago, I showed you how to make this, or how I made this, uh, this little journal out of scraps left over from one of my classes at our College on the Square. So it's just like, you might not want to throw all that stuff away. Anyway, I'll link that in the description box below. So I had another class just a couple of days ago, and not that I always dumpster dive, and <laughs> there was in the trash. Actually, I asked them, I said, please don't throw those away because I might do something with those. These are just paper towels that they use to clean their paintbrushes off with. This is from that class. This is some leftovers from the cactus class. This is a leftover from a poured class. Then I've got these pieces that are also left over from a uh, teenager's poured acrylic class. These are on deli paper. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Anyway, so I want to uh, make something. Not sure yet what I'm going to make. And then this one is from a poured watercolor class. So these are all classes that I have at College on the Square. This one was from a kid's class. I may use a little bit of this someplace. And uh, I'm going to use the Liquitex Matte Medium. You can use uh, Mod Podge or uh, a glue stick you know, good glue stick. Then, uh, while I was doing all my scrub cap stuff, these are some of the supports of the fabric. I made a lot of scrub caps and masks. Anyway, and those videos I will link below also, because uh, if you haven't seen the scrub caps or how to make a scrub cap, that's there. Anyway, I thought these would make really cool covers. I'm going to take two of them and I'll cut this off. And then... Uh, Use this as the as a join thing, and I'll put a fabric on the back. I was going to use this one, but uh, can you see the face in it? There's the eyes. It could either be a, an ostrich or a moose of some sort. I don't know, long nose. Uh, so I'm going to. It's not a Rorschach. I'm going to just save that one, maybe for a later time. Okay, let me get this one. Okay, and uh, I try not to see faces in everything. I can see a skull in that one. I think that's called something whenever you see faces in everything. Anyway, so with doing them with the paper towels, uh, one of the things that can happen, now this is acrylic, so, you know, they're probably stuck together and I don't want to tear that up, so I want to be sure that I put enough medium in here to stick it down. Now, and on this side, you can see that it's just kind of a canvasy looking texture, but if I flip it over, you can see the texture of the paper towel. So, just so you know. Okay, I think I'll use this one to start off with, and I'm going to get me a couple of little sticks just to get this up off of the paper for right this second. And I've got my matte medium. Oh, you know what? I am going to cut these little tabs off. I'm not going to save those. I, I say that I'm not going to save those. I think I'm not going to save those. They might be good for something, but sometimes, you know, you just kind of need to get over that. I'm not a hoarder, y'all. I'm a collector. And 
and you want to put a good coat of this on here. And I just did my nails with this really cool peel and stick nail polish, so we'll see what this glue does with that peel and stick nail polish. I don't remember what those things were called. And let's see, let me turn this over this way. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this matte medium on the back of the paper towel to make sure this is gonna stick. And I can see and I can feel that the, the puffiness of that paper towel where it's separating. So I'm going to go ahead and put some medium on the top of that. And it's tearing right there. I think that's a tear. Might just be a white dot. Okay. that all mash down. And this is the matte medium that I'm using. It's matte. It's not gloss. You can get gloss medium if you want a glossy surface, but I didn't want a glossy surface. Okay, and this is moist and wet, so I can tear that edge. I'm going to set that to the side and let it dry, and then I am going to do the same thing with the other piece for the other piece of uh, cardstock. Uh, and I tore some little uh, packing material, little corrugated packing material that I had. And this is Baby Wipe from another class. Oh, that's from the Cactus class. And I might want black ink. I think I do want black ink. Well, I've diddle doddled around with this, and I think I might be ready to put it together.
I have this uh, little Tim Holtz ideology small talk and at the back it says or just what uh, seems ordinary is often extraordinary. So that's what I'm going to, I think I'm going to put that on there. I'm just going to try it first and see if that's what I want to do. Because these were just ordinary junk paper towels. And I don't think I want to put it all in one row. And uh, I'm going to wait until after this dries completely, I think. I think I'll do it in three rows. I like that. And while I'm here, I'll show you this. This is a little composition book from the Dollar Tree. They come three of them in a pack for a dollar. And this one says, live, create, and tell the story. And these are just some of my paper towels from my silk dyeing stuff. And it's done the same way, just some little random papers on there, glued on, stuck on. Anyway, I thought I'd share that too.